DWP was uh, commissioned to do the interior design of uh, a variety of the interior spaces. We looked at the, uh, the Porcachere, the arrival, obviously the main lobby, check-in, reception areas, the living room that we know, uh, all of the guest rooms, the signature spa, and the, the FF&E around the wet deck. Quite an undertaking for a hotel, and obviously there's been some great collaborations with other designers in, our, in other areas, and we love that. We love collaborating with other people. Well, the W brand, I mean, it's, it's renowned around the world, isn't it? I mean, in the day, there's a real persona around the W. You know, started out of uh, New York City, so it has a real sense of, um, I guess, vibrancy and energy. But it plays in the luxury uh, segment for Marriott as well, so, but it's distinctive luxury. And it's really based on design. End of the day, all the way we touch the design of the building has to relate back to the design as an ethos. The selection of ff &E, the kind of space planning, it still has a, a massive influence around design. But obviously we have a, uh, a, an arrival experience, which is both, you know, it takes a view out to the ocean then and a view back to the skyline. So we actually have this interesting kind of sequence of arrival almost under the fronds of palm trees. So the experience in the, in the Pukashere is about this dappled light and the idea that the sun going down into the evening to the sunset. So you can see the sort of flow of the, uh, the form of the Safit. Um, it's a really strong kind of concept around um, this, under this sort of softened light as the sun disappears over. But then from the Pukashere, you arrive then into the main lobby. The main lobby is this wonderful, voluminous atrium. And that's really about, I guess, traditional Arabian villages. You know, the, that sort of architecture that we all know from the years gone by, where it wasn't perfect, it was meandering, adobe wall constructions with deep recesses. And what I love about it is actually you could almost look across to your neighbour and, and greet them in the morning or the evening or whenever it might be and that lovely interplay across. So you'll see in the atrium space all these little uh, pepperings of openings, these portals um, that really start to celebrate the idea of that Arabian traditional architecture. And then when you look across the flooring of the same space in the, in the lobby, you can start to see where I guess the sand meets the sea. There's a really thin divide in the flooring and there's this lovely interplay of uh, the land versus the water. Lots of material changes across the flooring. You can sort of see there's a flowing, almost a recessing of the tide uh, in a way. So a lot of layering and, and, and curious typical W moments as well, where some, it looks like some of the windows have fallen out of the village and they're actually now peppered and scattered across the floor. Of course, there are opportunities now to sit on and, and, uh, and to gather socially. So the, the atrium is one of the great um, moments which I think is a specific welcoming device to the W. Of course, the away spa is almost one of the, the signatures of a typical W. And DWP's approach is really around creating something which celebrated the context. I mean, we're on, on the gulf, over the water. So really, we, we draw a lot of um, inspiration around this beautiful light reflecting through the water bodies, almost a kaleidoscoped effect. There's a lot of discovery in terms of the, the way the spaces are planned, cues and references back to even the traditions of, of fishing uh, and pearl diving, etc. within the space. But it's really, it's a richness and there's a lot of unknown and uncertainty upon first viewing. So the, the light and the, what we do with the lighting effects can, be, uh, can change from different times of the day. When you walk into the away spa, you don't know it's a spa. It could be a bar, it could be a nightclub, but it's fascinating. One of the other great areas we've uh, looked at is really the living room. It's one of the epicenters of a, of a standard W. It's the center of all of the design. So for us, the living room is the main bar and it has to work day into night. It obviously changes with this sense of, um, of energy, obviously as it moves into the evening. And as a space, that's one of the areas where we know is really interesting because our interplay or our uh, interpretation of the design there was around looking under gold under a microscope, this lovely faceted form, strong play on geometry. Why is that important? Well, on the, the Palm Jumeirah is a strong sense of geometry. So when you think about the living room, 
these strong faceted gold forms, little bits of negative and positive recesses is one of the really interesting kind of other areas where DVP had a lot of fun as well. Of course, we looked at the rooms. There's obviously the wet deck, which is one of the signature pieces of the entire hotel. And if you think about the planning of the hotel, it all looks on to the wet deck, which is, uh, which is probably one of the, the, the amphitheaters of the space. So we did if we looked at a lot of the furniture, you know, we wanted to celebrate the idea that this space can be used day to night to day. It's one of the, uh, the, the most fascinating parts of a hotel setup that I think really creates a great opportunity for people to appreciate from either within your room or be part of the action be part of the architecture.